Rams in the second half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Davis throwing on first down. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Mike two, Mike two, Back to throw. Davis. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From just shy of midfield, Davis. He's got his man in the crossing route. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 36. Now a give right side. Conley. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looking to throw on second down. Davis, and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. Looking to throw, Davis. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and 10. Back to throw. Davis buying time to his left. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this offense, last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe it'll play a little bit. Well, Davis fumbles it. And this belongs to the Vikings. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Davis now on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw once more on second and 10. Davis. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44, and his guys will... It'll be a first and 10 coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. 
Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Davis. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. to throw again. Davis finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. To give him the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. Conlon. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. Ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jets have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. But this one now, Charles, you'd have to think all but over. I would agree with that because this offensive line, they've been physical from the first snap of the game, and it's taken a toll on this defense. stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. Davis on first and ten. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. On first down, Conley. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. From the 25 on second down, Davis. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The Jets on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and eight. Back to throw. Davis. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. McPherson's kick is good. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. So they surrendered three points, and now after the kickoff, this offense gets ready to take over the football. Now Davis throwing on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is it bad blood that went into this one? 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll run on first down. Conley. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. There's a reason the number four was flashing through my mind when he let that one go. Three touchdowns already in his back pocket. The deep ball's been a great weapon for him in this one. Unfortunately, empty on that attempt. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off the play fake, Davis. Smith catches left side. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. Davis being chased out left. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He wants it all for the end zone. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. Ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jets tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter. This offense gets ready to take over. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's going to try and go deep again. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. From the gun, Davis. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick, and the Vikings are right back in this football game. and the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. Charles Davis and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the J-E-T-S as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.